They're ancient creatures in a changing world. These evolutionary gems have been around since before the dinosaurs. But suddenly, they're slipping away. As scientists race to find answers, amphibians are vanishing. We're going to lose perhaps half of the amphibian species. And they go away for good. They don't come back. The implications are enormous. Some of these habitats will fall apart without their amphibians. It's an indication to us that there's something wrong. At what point are we going to turn around and say, well, hang on, we needed those frogs? Across the globe, amphibians are walking a thin line. If we act quickly, we might pull them back from the edge. This is the only chance we have. Frogs have managed to navigate life on Earth for more than 250 million years. They were the first of our ancestors to venture from the water to the world beyond. But their fish-like beginnings haven't hindered their progress on Earth. They've evolved into an explosion of species, each one unique. These diminutive time travelers survived the dinosaurs, asteroids, and ice ages, adapting in ways that boggle the mind. Some are masters of camouflage, while others avoid predators by carrying poisons in their skin. Their survival tactics have splintered them into thousands of species, scattered on almost every corner of the Earth. Whether salamander, frog, or toad, amphibians are some of the most diverse and far-flung animals on the planet. But they're disappearing, and experts are worried. Frogs are considered bellwethers for the environment. Their double life makes them unique. It's through their skin that they breathe and drink. Because their skin is so permeable, they're especially sensitive to changes in the environment. Today, more than a third of amphibians are in decline. From Australia to South America, frogs are disappearing. Why are species that have survived for eons suddenly collapsing? Scientists are searching for clues before the next species slips away. <laughs> 